Yo, 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 it's your boy DC. And I'm back again. We're back again with another uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter video. How y'all doing out there? I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. There's, there's a couple long videos, but uh, we got through that case. That case was uh, undoubtedly very long and sort of difficult. So, uh,. We're just going to hop right into it to the next case called Infamy. Father, Mr. The Austin, fuck you want, Wilde bitch? Is here, and I'm going to stay with Miss Alice. I don't care. What? Did you forget? Orson Wilde, you know, the star Orson of Wilde. American theater. And uh, he's visiting and staying with us. I don't care. If you freaking did forget? All no, them people. No, no, not, not that. I, I meant you wanting to stay with Miss Alice. Yes, that's right. Miss Alice suggested it. She told me you couldn't possibly refuse. Oh, you motherfucker. She told my daughter hostage. Why don't you stay with Mrs. Hudson? Oh, but Miss Caitlin has more in common with Miss Alice, and they get along so well. You're yes, supposed to be on my side, Miss Hudson. Mr. Wilde is here to study my father's character for his next play. And he won't be disappointed, I'm gonna get this Miss Allison home. So Miss Alice, whatever her name is. I can't believe it. Oh the snap! It's the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. In front of me, I'm sure that our two brains will. Brains. Good God! It's the Mad Hatter. How'd you make it out of out of Wonderland? Scarf follows fashion trends. Pen, think he's this stuff. Tobacco in the pocket, smokes. But he knows my brand. I think he's trying to be like me. Oh God, personalized boots. He's fairly into himself. Pocket watch. Pocket mirror. Oh my God, he is definitely self-afflicted. This guy is too much into himself. Or so while not yet 30 years of age, the star of America, blah, 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 blah. Stay the role of Sherlock Holmes. Why does he want to be like me? How many people is there? Oh, it's only a couple more people. So it's probably like a, just uh, probably like two more cases. And then they were done. Ah, we're having so much fun. Mr. Wilde, your room. Charming. <laughs> this is such a fascinating city. We need to talk. I'd rather not. You're going to be angry again. Goodbye, Mr. Wilde. Oh, my goodness. Is it five o'clock already? I think I might go and ask Mrs. Hudson for some tea. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Where is frickin' Watson when you need him? Goodness gracious. Ah, uh, people ruining my life. Find out about more. Uh, oh gosh. It would be better to examine Wilde's belongings before he returns. Oh, so he's basically spying his stuff. All right. Oh, Wilde's already making himself at home. Well, when did I agree to this? Wilde truly has a perfect disguise kit. Do actors really need all this? What is this makeup? This must be grease paint. Bull straight makeup artist. Oh, I use the same brushes for makeup. <laughs> oh, face powder of an excellent quality. Is it still on my face? Got my hat, Father. I am just checking. Um, you've got something on your face. Is it makeup? Uh, it uh, might be. i uh, practicing my disguises. You know me. <sighs> I'll explain myself to you. No, don't, don't touch that. No, no. Great. 
<sighs> Great. Great! Ah, Mrs. Hudson, with our tea. Not quite. We have a visitor. However, the lady is not so much angry as perplexed. Good day to you, gentlemen. My name is Mary Sutherland. I have come hey, to it's Mary. because I would give everything I have to know what has become of Mr. Hosmer Angel. It's Mary. By the haste, Miss Sutherland. Mr. Hosmer Angel has disappeared, and my father, Why Mr. Winterbank, will do nothing. It makes me so angry. Well, let's check you out, Miss. Uh, where's glasses? That. Ah, uh, ah! Even I knew that. Oh, sorry. Uh, button, family heirloom. Uh, she's definitely rich. No. Okay, she's definitely engaged. That's not an heirloom. And okay, what the fudge? Different brews. Okay. Creepy. Poor eyesight fell to know she's wearing red boots. She might engage to be married. Mary's wealthy. I guarantee you it's Watson, because I remember from the TV show that Watson. Mr. Windybank is your stepfather, I'm sure, since the name is different. Well, indeed, I call him father, although he is barely older than myself. And your mother is alive? Oh, yes. Why although is he I wasn't studying my movements. This again. is creepy. It's like a little brother trying to do what the big brother trying to do. a man so much younger than herself. What is your connection with Mr. Hosmer Angel? I met him at the Gasfitters Ball. Smack him, Sherlock, smack him. Mr. Windham did do not something. wish for me a mother to attend. He never did wish us to go anywhere, but this time I was quite set on it. Fortunately, he left for France upon some business, and so didn't have any say in it. And I met Mr. Angel that night. We met again after that and would take walks together. But then father returned, and we could no longer meet. Why was your stepfather against your going anywhere? Well, he didn't like anything of that sort. He used to say that a woman should be happy in her own family circle. What kind of incestual type ish is that? Did Mr. Hosmer Angel make no attempt to see you? Well, father was going off again in a week. And Hosmer wrote and said that it would be better for us not to see each other until father had gone. After that, he stopped writing. Where does Mr. Angel live? I don't know exactly. I address all of his letters to the Leadenhall Street Post Office for collection. Mr. Angel. Were you engaged? Oh yes, Mr. Holmes. Right after the first walk that we took. He either dropped down on one knee. He must have did something on that walk. Bounce do you want your own income? I do, from an inheritance. It was left to me by my Uncle Ned in Auckland. That's not an income. Then you have all that you could wish for, naturally. Well, I live at home and don't wish to be a burden to my family, so they have the use of the money. Is there anything else that you can tell me about Mr. Angel? He is a very shy man. He would rather walk with me in the evening, so as to be discreet. I put a missing persons notice in last Saturday's Chronicle. Here's a copy, and a letter from him. Ha-ha! <laughs> a love letter. Hmm, yes. I see. As I anticipated, this validates my deductions perfectly. What deductions, Mr...? Mr. Wilde. Holmes. Tell her. I'm gonna punch him. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch him. Mm. Probably noticed his parents, a gentleman by the name on the left side, I'm gonna say that. Five feet, seven inches in height. Shorter than me. Ha ha! With a strong build. Uh oh. Black hair, bushy eyebrows. Mustache, tinted spectacles. My man sound cool as crap. Fuck. No trees. He got money. My dear love, please don't worry about the sweet head. Or your sweetheart. Do you believe that I would say anything to your family? Who understand nothing of love? We have a wonderful time together. Didn't we? 
while your father was in France? Such a short time, but it was enough for me to know that you are, are my life. Ah, oh, creepy. I want to spend very, every moment, minute, from now on with you. I wish it was possible. Be quiet, Toby. I love you very much, and I'm waiting for the moment when you step out of these once more upon his shoulders so we can meet again. Hosmer Angel. No, sorry. This is strange. The love letter is typewritten. Ooh. How about that? Good quality paper, quite smooth. Fairly common ink, nothing special. Hmm. Hosmer Angel decided not to leave his signature. I'm waiting for the moment when your stepfather leaves once more. We had a wonderful time together, didn't we, while your father was in France? Miss Sutherland only met with Hosmer Angel while the stepfather was absent. Let's study this letter more closely. There are some letters with typographical defects. Miss Sutherland, do you have any other letters from Mr. Angel? Unfortunately not. But I've brought my father's letter from Paris. Here it is. <laughs> the stepfather's letter is also typewritten. Mm, I hope that you'll be an obedient girl. Mm, take my advice. Stay at home. Miss Sutherland's stepfather's signature. The stepfather is trying to keep the daughter at home. Quite common paper with a light yellow tint. Fairly common ink, nothing special. Let's study this letter more closely. My dear love, please don't worry, sweetie. Another letter match with the same defects. So, based on the specific defects, we could say that these letters were composed on the same typewriter. Took me a while. Jesus Christ, look at that. I'm gonna go with the one typewriter. Uh, what's this? That one I actually know. No, I want that one. I, that's what I think. Cause I'm in my mind. Yeah. Bam. Nope, I'm gonna go strange behavior. I am probably Wow, this is a first. All the clues just been used away. Oh, wow.
Oh, wow. So I, I actually have to make... This is possibly the quickest case. Let's go with the conclusions. Oh, wow. So that's the only thing. So tell the truth, hide the truth. I'm a truth for guy. Screw it. Yep. You should try to let Mr. Hosmer Angel vanish from your memory, as he has done from your life. Then you don't think I'll see him again? I fear not. Then what has happened to him? Your stepfather married your mother for her money, and also enjoyed the use of your income. But with your personal advantages, it was clear that you would not remain single for long, even with him keeping you at home. He found a crook by the name of Mr. Hosmer Angel. He was paid to make you fall in love and promise your devotion, whereupon he would disappear. Oh, Mr. Holmes. No, I, I, I can't believe it. But we were engaged. Oh, it's horrible to think about. But thank you for all you have done, Mr. Holmes. See, the truth hurts, but, you know, Holmes. we'll set you free. Could have been more diplomatic. Negative. I like being truthful. Diplomat these nuts. At night. What is going on? We about to find out, huh? Mr. Holmes, is everything all right? Shut up, Holmes. Oh my God. Go back to your flat and, and stay there with Kate. What's this? It's ticking. Hmm. It's ticking. All right. Uh, I died. It's ticking. I see wires inside. They could be connected to the cover. It's an actual bomb. A fancy ticking homemade gift from a secret admirer. This motherfucker is it. psychotic. Uh, there are wires attached to the bell and hammer. When the alarm triggers, the bomb will explode. Aha! This solenoid protects the bomb from being easily diffused. If it loses its power supply, it will close contact between the secondary chain wires and the bomb will explode. A source of electricity for the detonation. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in and out. It's useless to predict how they might be tangled up inside. A package with explosive material. There are wires going in and out. It's useless to predict how they might be tangled up inside. Fancy ticking homemade gift from the secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it. So it cannot lose power. A fancy ticking homemade gift from the secret admirer. I have two minutes to defuse it.
A fancy ticking home. A fancy tick. Needless to say, I'm just going to keep on dying. A fancy. I've tried every wire on the one side, so gonna try the, try the next one. A fancy ticking homie. Ha! Ah, this solenoid protects the bomb. If it loses its power supply, the rewire. A source of a. What happened? Just a small bomb. Somebody wants to kill me? What for? I don't believe Ain't nobody care about you, ho. Who then? Mr. Holmes, are you all right? I saw the bloke. I tried to catch him, but he escaped. Can you describe the man? Uh, he was thin, about 5'5", five five with black hair and a hair lip. Dang, that's really good. Wiggins, tell us everything you saw. The fellow was watching your place, so I thought maybe he's a client. But then he took something out of his jacket and threw it, smashing your window. I shouted at him and he took off. I grabbed him by the sleeve, but he wriggled out of his jacket and left it. I'm sorry I didn't catch him, Mr. Holmes. You did very well, Wiggins. He's a man. I pay you. Now, I had let's take a look at that jacket. Here it is. Good job, Wiggins. Here's a penny. Oh, a thanks, penny? Mr. Holmes. Mother... My man just fucking... All right. You know what? Okay. All right. Where, where you at, buddy? You okay? Good job, Toby. You're the man. Let's see what's inside. There could be a hidden message that's been written with some lemon juice. No, don't touch anything else. I'm in about to catch a there whole There are on this piece of paper. I could read the text with the help of my analysis table if Wilde hadn't already destroyed it. I should just beat his ass. Rally, Mohawks, bring your axes and tell King George we'll pay no taxes for his foreign tea. He threats our vain, his threats are vain, and too vain to think. To force our girls and wives to drink his vow, but he. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. Dragon! A poem. But what does it mean? This isn't a poem. It's a song called Rally Mohawks. That great moment 
when America rebelled against England's dominance. Then rally, boys, and hasten on to meet our chiefs at the Green Dragon. And I, I bet that. they hoisted a tankard of ale and invented a new nation. Along with deciding Please get the hell out of my apartment. Dump some tea into yon harbor. <laughs> Why ever did he keep such a song in his pocket? Why on ever did the fudge <sighs> get a pocket knife? Click, click. Oh. Click, click. Ah. JT are the owner's initials. Justin Timberlake damn near threw a, a freaking bomb in my apartment. The hash truck's back. Who tried to kill me, Mr. Holmes? I hope you're dead. The hash truck's back and better than Thanks ever. Thanks to Wild, my analysis table has been completely destroyed. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. What we got? So, examine the attacker's belongings. Uh, find out who's behind the attempt on your life. Okay, I did the, the thing, and now I shall, uh, mm, what was I about to do? I was about to do something, and then I forgot. There we go, documents. No, I, oh, all right, there we go, searching the, all right. Uh... No. No. Um. No, this is not any of that. No. There we go. The Green Dragon Tavern was a public house used for both a tavern and a meeting place. Located on Union Street in Boston's North End. In the early 19th century, a number of replicas of the dra Green Dragon were opened across Europe. One of these is now located in London near the harbor in the district of White Chapelle. Here it is. I just, I, okay, I just read it. I, That's all I can do for now. Let's try and get a few hours of sleep. How can you sleep when there is someone trying to kill me? How selfish. Leave, ho. The next morning. Uh, let's figure this out. This is what I was trying to do. Analysis table. Can't do that. I'm going to go with the coincidence. I, I don't think he... Oh, wow. A little bit of a quinky dink. No, I'm not changing. I'm going out like this. <laughs> He's so funny. What you do to my dog? I'm going to tell you something right now. You're not my kid. All right. You're not my kid. Did you sleep well, Kate? Very well, thank you, Father. Is that wild? Whatever is he doing now? He's transforming you into a legend. Oh, silly man. Kate, what's the matter? Well, I just came by to tell you that I'm going to the zoo with Alice. We'll be having lunch in town. Yo, you don't even know this! The zoo? What on earth for? <laughs> Perhaps because it is my birthday today? I'm so sorry, Kate. With Wilde's visit, I... Look, here's some spending money. Go and treat yourself to a... a thing. All right. I'll go then. Kate. You never do anything right! All right, all right. Come here. I've had enough of you not caring about me! I do care. I've just had a, a difficult night. Yes. Alice told me about the bomb, but you wouldn't! Kate, I... I only want to protect you. You don't understand anything! I wish Alice would adopt me! Don't be ridiculous! I don't know why my parents entrusted me to you! Did they really know you? Kate! Come back! I don't lie. So... Savage! Such a waste. This Alice, I have an odd sense about her. It's as if she's playing with Kate's feelings. 
This would be a good opportunity to investigate Alice's flat while they're absent. And anyway, it'd be better to visit the Green Dragon Tavern during the evening. Oh my, I see you and Kate are best friends already. You need to uh, take that off your head. Mrs. Hudson is not at home. Force is not an option. I should find another way inside Alice's flat. A back room. Alright, so I'm going to have to do over the balcony, aren't I? Or, can I go up there? Negative? Alright. This hoe trying to take my daughter away from me. I told you. <laughs> All right. Time to pick the lock. So one. Okay. This didn't make lock picking that difficult. But I wish it was difficult so I could find out how this whole lives. It looks as though Alice has not slept here for a long time. It appears that Alice sleeps in this armchair, as uncomfortable as that must be. Dear Miss, thank you for your most recent delivery. So I'm currently in my little channel and everything. You're laying right from here. Be sure to find my dress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alice has recently used this. She's a seamstress. A phonograph cylinder. <laughs> Rail to the dolls to ply the entire path through the maze in order to obtain. My dear little Alex, if you read this letter, then it means I'm no longer in the world. I managed to be busy to be sad there for my good life. I only regret that you are now alone and be sent to live with who knows who. knows who. An unknown family, you not I do not trust this to say, 
Bye. Take courage, my dear. So I know the secret which I know the secret which allow you to speak with the songs of the dead. They talk so Alice's childhood was spent with her aunt until the aunt's death. Dear Alice, you know, I am aware of you every time. You said to live with her family at home. You'd be happy. But people are cool, aren't they? Yes, sir. I remember my family. My friend. Alice was unhappy with all of her adopted families. He wakes early despite the fact that the lamp in his room goes into the small hours. He provides the street urchin with the work. I believe the boy's name would be Wiggins. His friend, Dr. Watkinson, is always nearby the senior very close. He is respected by Inspector Lestrade, even though he never works in the police case. So he honors and I have a moment to spend his time with her. She's spying on me. This hoe. Strange taste in literature. Sarah de Bouvier is Alice's mother. Uh, that's black. Ain't she black? She look black. Alice Floella Hamilton. Alice used her mother's name to lease the flat. Kate probably sleeps here. Sounds like a bomb. It's like this whole does seances in this yard. This lock is quite new. <sighs> oh my god. Yo, this chick is the wheelchair dope. is the same as the one in the photograph above. She talks to spirits. I don't want to mess with her. Oh my God. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. Yo, this chick is throwed out. Charles Darwin, English naturalist and geologist. Yo, y'all hear the music? Yo, she about to, something about to happen. William Hamilton. But I know him. He was a bandit who I arrested 20 years ago. Yo. My distant ancestor, Horace Burney. Alice knows about Zacharias Greystoke, the victim from the bowling club. I solved that crime. Alice knows about... William Hamilton. I didn't know you could sweep this up.
Alice is talking with her father, William Hamilton. She got my, well, she got the little girl. Oh, I thought it was something in here, yo. Abraham Lincoln. What the, what's wrong with this hoe? My word, look at this setup. Alice practices spiritualism. Can I leave? I really want to go. Am I done with this room? Oh my God. Scary. I'm not going out that way. Am I done here? Alice prepared a gift for Kate. She remembered her birthday. Well, women are good at that sort of thing. Hey, sexist comment. It has no smell. Nope. I asked how people get poisoned. I'm gonna get stuck here. A soothing drug to aid sleep. Son of a bitch. All right, y'all. Do it for the tube. Uh, it has a bitter taste. No smell, a bit of taste. It's a tincture of barbiturate. I finished here, time to go. Go the same way I came. Hi, oh, ain't no people, can people see me down there? Like. All right, I'm gonna change my clothes. We about to go outside, so. Notice the game didn't catch up. I cannot proceed dressed like that. I cannot proceed dressed like that. Well, what the hell am I supposed to? Oh, am I supposed to wear the, the bandit uniform? Because I'm going to be a bandit. Uh, not festive. Not doctor. How about bandit? I need to disguise myself. Oh, my. okay. I am not being bald. Uh, how about that? Some glasses. I'm not wearing a beard again. I have to be careful in this den of iniquity. All right. Well, I'm ending this video right here. Uh, cause it's a pretty long video. This is the case of M for me. But, you know, we'll be right back. And, you know, we'll get dive deeper into this mission. And we'll see what's, what's popping, you know. I'm dressed like a bandit. And I'm ready to get nasty. Next time on Sherlock Holmes. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Mr. DC. And I'm out this joint.